I'm Eliza Griswold, and I'm going to be reading today from my book, The Tenth Parallel, Dispatches from the Fault Line Between Christianity and Islam. And I'm going to be reading a section that begins in the town of Abie, which is a town right on the 10th parallel, the line of latitude 700 miles north of the equator. And this is a story about a chief who lives there and was waiting for war to return to his village, where it had been many times in the past. The chief was spending Easter Sunday in his hut, which smelled of stale smoke from a cooking fire and of something more glandular, panic. When the visitor from Washington ducked inside, the chief, a man in his mid-fifties named Neil Padwat, rose stiff-kneed from a white plastic lawn chair. He had spent several days keeping watch against an approaching dust cloud kicked up by horsemen and jeeps. It would mean his village of Todaj, teetering on the fraught and murky border between northern and southern Sudan, was under attack again. He was grouchy and unkempt, his eyes pouched, his salt and pepper beard scruffy, his waxy green and yellow shirt stained with the tide lines of dried sweat. He glowered at the American visitor, Roger Winter, whose bare legs poked out from khaki shorts. One leg bore the scar of a snake bite he had gotten not far away while helping to broker a peace on behalf of the United States. The 2005 deal was supposed to end nearly 40 years of intermittent civil war between northern and southern Sudan, which had left two million people dead. In some places, the peace agreement had staunched the bloodshed, allowing the South to form a nascent government that described itself as Christian-led. Under the terms of the deal, the North was supposed to make it attractive for the South to remain part of a unified Sudan by giving it a voice in the national government and a fair share of oil revenues. But the North ignored most of the terms. The peace deal proved to mean nothing here on the boundary between the two Sudans, which jigs and jags like an EKG reading along the straight, flat latitude of the 10th parallel. After this, about three weeks later, Chief Nyo Padwat and all of those who lived in his village were the village was wiped off the face of the planet. He is still alive, as are many of the villagers, and they are fighting to return to their village even now.